Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Sunday. Uh, what's this? December 9th. Uh, Going to be a quick one today. Uh, I know you're all feeling that that Sunday blah feeling. Uh, back to work tomorrow. Got to get to bed early after a long weekend. Um, hope you guys listen to my uh, Friday FaceTime, uh, FaceTime Live, uh, or Facebook Live about how to avoid gaining weight or gaining fat over the weekend. Uh, what's up, Hub? Uh, today, real quick, I'm going to remind you guys how important, what's up, Richard? Remind you guys how important it is to get back to the grind right away on Mondays. Why? Because the weekend, of course, is spent filling up on glucose and, and storing glycogen. And like a car, our body has a capacity to store uh, a, a limited amount of glycogen before it has to begin fat storage. How fast is that? Almost immediately. Uh, so if you think of it as uh, a car or a vehicle, uh, once you put in your body more fuel than you are A, using, or B, can store in your muscle and liver, your body has no other recourse than to begin storing that for long-term usage, i.e., fat cells, either new fat cells or it will begin to uh, fill up uh, uh, previously depleted fat stores. So if you want to um, avoid that pitfall, you know, after a weekend of, of fun, which we all do, I just had tacos, I had some candy earlier, um, had some cookies last night, so, uh, but I worked out yesterday in my, and I fasted Saturday, I fasted Friday, I worked out Friday, um, so my G tank was lower even than it usually is going into a weekend, uh, but I could eat. Hey, Curtis, I could eat without worrying about um, without worrying about um, filling up on glycogen and and gaining fat um, and building and storing fat cells. So uh, it's important to know that. So when you go into the new week on a Monday, make sure you guys uh, halt that that glycogen and glucose intake, and you halt your body's um, storage of glycogen so that you don't move into the red zone or the danger zone of fat storage, right? So again, you know, very simple. Our bodies work in predictable ways. Um, if we're using energy, if we're using the glucose that we give our body, that's great. If we're not using it, which is often the case when we're sitting around and having fun and watching TV or whatever it is, if we're not using it, our body stores it, right? Stores it in our muscle and our livers. Guys can store more of that. Regardless of how much your body can store, once it's full, if you are not using that, that, that glucose, that glycogen, your body will begin fat storage almost immediately. So step one, as I talked about on Friday, is to make sure we don't enter into that zone, into that, what's up, Michael? Uh, make sure we don't enter into that zone. So I've learned... Um, you know how to how to monitor that again my range is about 10 pounds uh 172 ish to 181 ish 181 is when my body's full of glycogen and water 172 ish is when my body is depleted of glycogen and water i try to go into every weekend um as low as possible i try to make sure i'm able to enjoy myself without worrying about fat storage um, and then I make sure that my first workout or two of the week is spent doing things that demand my body to use a lot of energy. Not cardio, not just weights, uh, explosive moves that, lose, that use big body parts and put my body into a state of, of oxygen deprivation during the workout to expand my metabolic window. But I put, I put time on task um, on Monday and Tuesday, get my levels back down in hopes that by Wednesday or Thursday, hey Rashawn, um, by Wednesday or Thursday, I'm at a point where my, my G tanks are empty again, right through uh, limited, if any, uh, carb intake, uh, through the usage of exogenous ketones that help me stay satiated, give me energy when I'm going through this period uh, of glycogen depletion or glucose um, depletion, uh, that allows me to work out with energy uh, without carbs. So I do that for the first one, two, or three days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. But by Wednesday, usually I'm depleted and I can spend one or two days um, in fat burning mode, right? And then I can go into the weekend with my tank empty 
uh, with little, if any, risk of fat storage. I can enjoy myself. Uh, but again, we have to know that um, oftentimes the mistake people make is they enjoy the weekend, they gain some weight, most of which is water and glycogen or water and glucose, stored glycogen. Uh, but some of that, if you get to the, to the maximum capacity of storage in your body, whatever that is, uh, if you get to the maximum capacity, your body begins to store uh, small bits of fat, right? Fat cells. And so when you come back and you work out and you lose some weight, most of which, which is water and stored, stored glycogen, you feel better, but don't realize that some of that fat you stored is going to be on your body for a long, long time, maybe forever, for some people that never put their body into a state uh, where they're forcing their body to burn body fat. So um, just know that, guys, that just know that the trick is to never let your body get into that state, right? You can have fun. You can enjoy yourself. Just don't get to the point where you are putting your body into a state where it has to store body fat, which upon maximizing capacity of your glycogen happens almost immediately. All right? So if you have questions about anything, guys, feel free to reach out. You know, text me. You guys know me. A lot of you know me for, for years. Um, you can also begin to work out with us. If you're not local, uh, Hub, Michael, um, you guys can always uh, virtually call into our boot camp classes. Hey, Judy. Uh, we do a virtual class uh, in the mornings as well. So all of our classes... Uh, mainly, what's up, Marcus? Mainly the 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. classes. You can call in via your phone or tablet or computer and, and do the class alongside uh, the people who are actually here in San Jose doing it um, live. So, hope that was helpful. Uh, again, monitor and watch your G tank levels, right? Your combined glucose and stored glycogen. Because if that fills up, your body begins almost immediate fat storage. So watch it. You can have fun. Just don't have fun on full. Have fun on empty. All right? Have a good night. I kept it short uh, so you can go to bed, you guys, and get up tomorrow morning and get back to the grind of work and hopefully getting some, uh, some glycogen depletion activities in, some working out um, in hopes that we go into every day, you know, getting better than we were the previous day. All right, guys? Love you guys. Have a great night, and I will chat back with you guys soon. Bye-bye.